Hey, welcome to Behind the Scenes. We're going to go into a conversation with the author of the song, It Is Time. Scott Smith tells us why he wrote the song and what he was going through at the time. And he stresses how important it is for you and I to make declaration and proclamation in the face of darkness and danger. It's so important to declare what God has said. Just as Jesus spoke directly to Satan, we can speak to him and declare God's word. Get behind me, Satan. Check it out. Well, you wrote a song <laughs> back in the day. I love this song. Oh I've gosh, sung it for yeah. many years. <laughs> And uh, you allowed me to write verse two to yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah. It needed it's it. Not, it's not real deep, people. It's not real deep. <laughs> yeah, no. But I, it came alive, and it's called It Is Time. It is time to take the kingdom. Yes. And, you know, like I said, that was probably one of my first, we call it warfare praise back in the day. Yeah. And But I look how appropriate it is for today. Mm. You know, especially with what we've seen over the last year, 2020, with the coronavirus. There's so many things happening uh, in in the spiritual realm that need to be broken. Yes. And, um, you know, just seeing that the song is a song of faith, man. It's a song of declaration. Yes, it is. It is time to take the kingdom. Yeah. And here I am standing on, on uh, these platforms in parks, in public places, watching God do amazing things. And we're declaring the kingdom of God is here right now at yes. this moment. And he's setting people free. So... I, it, it's so awesome that you're, you're bringing that song back and that it really is right now is the time that we've Timely. got to take the kingdom yep. because we are being so uh, inundated with things of, of how we need to think, how we need to obey, how we need to follow government, how we, you know, it, it's comply, comply, restrictions, exactly, isolation. Exactly. And people are just you know, are, are being tired of being told that yep. they can't sing. They can't gather to sing. Right. You know. And, and Sean is from uh, California. Right. And right. The, the churches are widely open there. No, not to, yet. Not to yet. praise and worship. Yeah, yeah. Well, how did but you they're come... getting there. Yeah. They are. Yes. How, how did you come about writing the song? Like, it, did, it, did it just drop in your spirit? Or were you walking around and, no, Satan, you can't yeah. have me? <laughs> it's just... You know, I'm, I'm trying to think back, but you know, it's, when you said that on the on the chorus part, it is, you know, no Satan, you can't have me. You, no, you can't have my land. Yes. No weapon formed against me will prosper, for God is in command. And I just, you know, I I think I remember walking through some things that I just really needed um, to uh, to declare and proclaim that that you know, first of all, that God is King. And he's ruler over our lives when we let him. Yes, yes. You know, otherwise yes. the enemy can come in and he can control what we're thinking and what we're saying just by our negative speaking. And But I remember declaring, no, Satan, you, you're not going to have me. You're not going <laughs> to take anything of mine, not Amen. my land. No weapon formed against me because it's not going to prosper because God is in command. Yes. Yeah. And what does the word land mean? Well, there's when many, you wrote that. right? So yep. there's many things. There, it could mean family. Yes. It could mean your, you know, your children. Uh, so, you know, people have uh, kids who are wayward. You know, they're they're struggling with addictions. Um, you know, my your land could be your your happiness, yeah. your peace. You know, um, there's there's so many things that can uh, that particular word land or whether it's. It's a territory. You know, it's a it. physical territory. That um, things you're in control of, right. your possessions, exactly. your territory, your domain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like what Sean said last night when we were in Fort Worth. Um, he said, "This is a fort full of worth." <laughs> and it was the city's birthday that we <laughs> oh, we were right. there. Yeah. And we're declaiming there's value in Fort Worth. Yes. And that Jesus is Lord in Fort yeah. Worth. And He's worth. Yes. Ship. Yeah. Yeah. His worst shit. <laughs> yes. Praise God. That's so exciting. It. Man, I'm getting excited, brother. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of, the, one of the strong parts of the song is, is uh, um, get behind me, Satan. Yeah. That's, a, yeah. that's yeah. strong. Oh, yeah. And as yeah. a man of faith, you're going through whatever you're going through in the time, and you just rose up and, <laughs> and declared scripture. Right, exactly. And declared, no, right, right, no, right, right. no. Right. You know, it, it's funny because there are a lot of songs that are being sung that are famous songs but their churches are closed down. <laughs> and so it's, I mean, that, 
you know, either the, the, the word is true yeah. or it's not. Right. You know, we have to declare, we have, we're declaring by faith. Sometimes we don't see it in, in um, yeah. it's not happening right now, but we have to declare a thing. And, you know, we just have to walk in faith and believe it. But we have to really have that conviction that yes. when, what we declare the word, we're not declaring what we want. We declare what's That's in it. the word what, and what the word God becomes, says. right, and then it becomes manifest in our lives. Yeah, so you don't see it yet, but you declare it, right. and it, there it is. Right. Powerful, right. powerful. Yeah, no, it's so good. And, and it's so powerful to be able to rise up and not declare emotion, not declare yeah. the situation as right. it is, or the, right. what the doctor said, yeah. but declare yeah. what God said. Exactly. It's power.